Adrian Broner and boxing's expiration date. First off, folks, if you enjoy this video, please click that like and notification button, share and subscribe to NSChamp7.com. Okay, folks, this is Coach Nathan back at you again with a recap of the Don King promoted main event matchup that went down this past weekend. Now, in watching Adrian Broner, who is now 35 wins, 5 defeats, 1 draw, with 24 knockouts, in his loss to Blair the Flair Cobbs, who is now 17 wins, 1 loss, 1 draw, with 10 by way of knockout, it reminds me that just about anything tangible in this life, folks, has an expiration date. Now, this certainly applies to sports, as no uh, athlete can do his respective sport forever. And it especially pertains to boxing, which can have a very short shelf life. For instance, if you're easy to hit or you don't like to train. The knock on Broner that's consistent with each of his losses is that he's not dedicated to train hard enough, long enough. And that's why his opponents, who won, have always outthrown and outlanded him. Also, that's why you always hear the announcers, as well as his corner, imploring him to let his hands go. Now, this is developed in training camp, so by fight time, you can't deliver what you've not developed. This, this critique was first heard from Mayweather Sr. and Jr., who worked with Adrian and promoted him in the beginning. And he started off quite well, punctuated by his first-round knockout over the talented Antonio DeMarco. But these uh, warnings, they became louder and louder after his first loss to Marcos Maidana. And now fast forward 10 and a half years later, and even with the last chance waterhole opportunity from promoter Don King, signs of lack of dedication still persisted. And that's from the well-respected St. Louis trainer, Kevin Cunningham, who was assigned to work with Broner before this fight. Now, Cunningham has been known for developing local St. Louis products, such as Corey Spinks, who's the son of former heavyweight champ Leon Spinks, and Devin Alexander. And I believe both those guys, were both of them were two-division world champions. Well, Kevin refused to continue with Adrian and quit a month before the fight. That's why he came into the ring with Tank Davis's trainer, Calvin Ford. It was also revealed that A.B. had to lose a lot of weight before the match. All of which resulted in not only a unanimous decision loss to Blair Cobbs, but a fractured elbow and torn shoulder from the fall from the knockdown, as well as teeth knocked out from the straight left received from the Southpaw Cobbs. Now, all of this, folks, is a great precautionary tale for any young up-and-coming fighter, amateur or pro. Old heads already know this. It takes more guts to train than it does to fight, which can be translated that you have to love this stuff. Most of your top champions, they love training and they love fighting because they love to win. You have to love training and fighting more than the women. More than being up in the club, flexing. More than being a thug. More than slanging, hanging, and banging. And look at the payoffs. On the one hand, you can look forward to being in jail, prison, or gunned down in the streets. And on the other hand, if you love training, fighting, and winning, you can keep cashing those million-dollar checks. Now, it was reported that Broner received between one and one and a half million dollars for this match. Blair Cobbs received $500,000 for his share. Both men are 34 years old, but the energy and activity was clearly from the more well-conditioned Cobbs. Now, another interesting note on Blair the Flair is that though he's from Philly, Pennsylvania, he moved around a lot as a kid including time on the run with Pops, Eugene Cobbs, who was a fugitive from the FBI and who later fled to Guadalajara, Mexico, where young Blair first learned to box. He is now under the tutelage of Hall of Fame trainer Freddie Roach, and he lives in Las Vegas, Nevada. So, 
Expiration dates. Every fighter has one, even the great ones, such as Joe Lewis and Muhammad Ali. But here's to hoping that the former four-division champ, Adrian Broner, listens to some wise counsel so that he can truly know if this was his last time to ever grace a professional boxing ring. So, that's my take on this one, folks. But don't forget, for elite boxing instruction, elite boxing analysis, and elite boxing philosophy, click that like and notification button and subscribe to NS Champ 7 Part Boxing Series at NSChamp7.com. And as always, I'll be seeing you the next main event.